Hey everybody, it's Party Lead here with another episode of my Strathclute Thrones of Britannia Let's Play. This session we're going to move rather aggressively down south into Northumbra territory and take as much as we can. Ideally destroy the faction in one sitting. It might be a little difficult, they are quite expansive, they've taken quite a few provinces, but they have, as a result of that, plenty of minor settlements. So at least we'll be able to cause a lot of damage this session before we end up having to hit Carloyle, which we'll actually probably hit very early, and then down here, Setretha. But let's try and make as much progress as possible. We are at the end of our previous turn from the last session, and just to let you know, I am recording a little sort of back-to-back, -back, so I have missed comments from the previous episode as I'm recording this before it actually went up. I will try to respond to them as soon as I can, though, and uh, I will also try to comment or reply to them in the comment section themselves. Now, this army is able to move a little bit further south, but I'm just going to hold off. I don't need to send them raiding just yet. I want to position myself first before they trigger the war. I want the upper hand here. I want to set things off just right. So we're going to end the turn and wait for the AI to wait for me to strike them down. I'm a little concerned with... Uh... May be of mutual benefit. Hmm. It's like they know what's up. They actually want to pay me for a declaration of friendship. That's not going to happen. I had high hopes. Not a chance. Not a chance. But yeah, I'm, uh, as I was saying, I'm feeling a little worried about how easy things feel right now. Again, I'm playing on very hard, very hard, so it's not legendary, sure. But um, I wouldn't say I've reached that point yet where I feel like I'm just steamrolling everything. But getting close. Getting close. Uh, let's add another level to the... Cavalry unit section here. And, uh, yeah, let's split these forces up and start heading south. Let's see, we've got a 19. Runs DMC. And we've got uh, God's Plan. Alright, God's Plan's gonna go down this way for Carloyle. I don't know how heavily garrisoned it is. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Alright, we've got the five. The five is gonna take... Let's see, I think the five can take Girum. The seven can take Rukester, and oh, we've got the seventeen over here as well. I have so many large armies. All right, so the nineteen instead of going for uh, Sitretha, maybe they go for Loidus or Efferwich. Hmm, so many options. Okay, 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 okay. I completely forgot about this massive army of the Arth of Arthur's champions that I had. So let's uh, let's start encroaching into into their territory. I think we're close enough now. So let's make sure we get ourselves into position. So let's get you down there. Let's get you. Yeah, use the road up to there. We're waiting for this army. That's fine. This army is going to hit Rukester next turn. Like as soon as I want to uh, engage, I'll be fine. And these guys still have a little way to go. Maybe it'll take them two turns. Yeah, three turns, I guess. Fair enough. That's not too bad. What could we do with our money? I don't need to recruit another army, I don't think. We could upgrade Guffin here. Just to help and increase the uh, number of units in the recruitment pool, things like that. We are going to increase the amount of money flowing through soon. Food is not a big issue anymore, so that's good. This would be good for... Bad for public order, but good for, for money. And on the topic of public order, this Monath is I, how I think you pronounce that. This place has a public order problem. Negative 2, just a 2% chance of rebellion, but I don't like that. That takes 2280 to build this. I'd like to unlock... Oh, I, I actually have a slot unlocked. Is there anything I could build to improve public order? I could get this church going. Or... I don't think corruption is a serious problem. No vampire counts on this island. I think we should go with... Yeah, let's, let's build the church, and that'll help the public order situation. I just can't deal with, uh, with a rebellion right now, and as for assigning a governor, I just have a merchant, a seafarer, and a born commander available. None of those guys are going to help the public order situation, really, so that's fine. We'll build the church there, and uh, I think next turn we're good to move, and within the next couple turns, actually, I think we'll be beginning our war. Again, just going to try and devastate Northumbra. I'm not... They're not at war with anybody. They have two vassals. Uh, I think one's like Hildeborg and the other one I forget the name of. I think it was Holderness actually. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll check. But they have two vassal states. 
but I don't think it'll be a problem. Now, Paskin, what's he? Political gain. This man, hungry for power, has positioned himself to take office without your approval. He may be suited to the task, but can you afford to let his ambitions threaten your family's power? Not a damn chance. Sit back down. Sit right back down. Block that move. I have some Viking raiders arriving. Where? Okay, to the south. Not close enough to me just yet. The nerve on that, man. Okay, we've got... Ooh. A daughter? Let me just check my family tree real quick. I thought... I thought... How, how do you have two daughters? How do the same people have two daughters and give them the same name? How uncreative are you? You two, both of you. How? How you do this? Also, I noticed Denowal doesn't have a wife, so let's let's try and get him married again. Maybe she'll be more creative. Uh, arrogant. Fantastic. Reduces influence, which is kind of good, actually, because he's at influence 10 as well. Uh, increases command. Okay. Reduces governance and increases zeal. Actually, that's not that bad. Her arrogance isn't bad. This woman has an inflated sense of her own importance and abilities, which has proved unhelpful to her husband's career. Uh, helps his command and zeal. Yeah. Take her hand. Here's a worthy bride. Marry her. Look how beautiful she looks. Okay. We are just about ready to trigger this trap. Uh, Hagastaldis can be taken by these guys once they're done with Girum. So let's keep our Arthur's champions moving. Again, we're, we're in foreign territory. Foreign soil, rather. So it will cost us. Now, Dunham is also a minor. Yeah, these are all minor, minor, minor. Except Threatha is the big one. Okay. Okay. And over here, we're trying to rush our way over to... I uh, just want to make sure that we're able to actually garrison ourselves as well when winter comes, because it is autumn right now. Carloyal is the target, and now we've got a little bit of money left as well. Let's see what we can build. We could upgrade the farms. I just Money is not... Or rather, food is not the thing right now. A better supplies. Not a bad idea. That is something I've been kind of throwing around a little bit. So let's improve our supply situation. Okay. Ready to hit Girum. We're ready to hit Rukester. We're almost ready to hit Setretha. Yeah, we'll be good. Maybe like two more turns, three more turns of moving this army. I'm a little worried that there's a massive 20 stack down there and I'm venturing a little too far. But then I'll just turn back around. You'd expect, like, some repercussions for digging so deep into enemy territory. Ooh, this faction was no match for their... Okay. Hilmerker. Hilmerker? Yeah, but you'd expect some sort of repercussion for so digging so deep into enemy territory. Like, at this point, I would expect to receive a message being like, Hey, what are you doing? Okay, pass skin. You, you filth. Try to take that position. Um, maybe he should just be a better... Actually, let's get him Quartermaster. Improve that movement range. Because it will be handy. Eventually. Now, if he takes Rukester and Hagastaldes, and this army takes Girum and Dunham, this one, yeah, is taking Setretha, and this one. Every man will do his duty. Every man will do his duty. That is God's plan. Okay, we're all ready. We're all ready. So 19 needs to move still. How do I have so many armies? How, how do I? How do I have so many armies? Fair enough. Okay, up here, we've got a lot more money flowing now. We've managed to upgrade to the Great Forge, so eventually we'll upgrade our uh, units accordingly. We could get some more food and supplies. We could upgrade Edinburgh. Not a bad idea. Takes eight turns. What could we do over here? Is The church is four turns away. We don't need more food. I don't want to reduce public order. Yeah, let's, uh, let's upgrade Edinburgh. Make it a Royal Hall of the Mountain. Sounds epic. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. And, uh... Alright, I think... Yeah, how did I just forget about my 19 stack? I have too many armies. I, I will miss tremendously the, uh, the end turn button from Warhammer 2. 
that was a great decision. It's those little quality of life things. The little quality of life things. All right, Northumbra, I don't think they can see what's coming. I don't think they have a clue. I don't My think they have a clue. All right, best. let's get the 17. A little bit. Okay, well, let's... Don't mind us just walking through the town. Yeah, it's just sitting right here. Looking pretty. Two, four, six, eight. We are Arthur's folk. True All right. All right. Okay, so we're in position to hit Carloyal. We're in position to hit Rukester. We're in position to hit Giram. And, uh... I mean, I'm better off keeping that 19 stack, like, close to Ephrawich or something. Rather than so far up north. Or I could just trigger the war right now. Now we'll wait. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. Uh, we could get this going as well. Increases supplies. So that's not a bad call. I wouldn't mind improving my economy. This is partly because I'm taxing at a higher level. If I drop it down, public order is fine everywhere. But you know what? We'll, we'll keep it where it is. Keep it where it is. Yeah, our lowest public order is one. That's not an issue. Research, though. We've unlocked another step. We could get the trained cavalry. Maybe we can uh, fortify some of the armies that are still in home territory just to get higher tier cavalry in there where applicable. Like these guys, actually, that's three turns away, so that's probably not going to happen. It's probably not going to take three turns for these guys to get to a more valuable situation or position, I should say. The 17 stack will probably go down to uh, Ephrawich, and then the 19 will probably go to Setratha. Every time I say Ephrawich, I, it makes me want to watch The Last Kingdom. And I've already seen it all. I have to just wait for the next season. So frustrating. Bebenberg and Ephrawich. Every time. I can just picture the title card coming up and all. Dubgale wants a declaration of... How about no? Also, my strength rank just dropped. Who usurped my position is number two. It better not be Northumbra. <laughs> uh, okay, Hogback Master Workshop. Yeah, that's so much more money flowing in now. Definitely a good call. Let's see if there's another level to that. No, that's level three. We could upgrade Guffin and uh, unlock another level. We already have this one. We could get a story hall going. What do I really need? What do I really need? I mean, adding a patrol, I think, is useless over here. We could go with the grain pits, get more food and more supplies. Help with the siege holdout. I love this fist fighters. Uh, sure, let's go with the grain pits for now. And we still have money left over to upgrade the city again. Oh dear. I have foolish amounts of money now. We could get this upgraded. Oh, you know, oh, well, no, Loden already has a governor. I don't want to strip him of his position. That would not be cool. Just want more marketplaces. Like market income. We're leaving this slot open was the plan. We could upgrade this. And there's all our money gone. Okay, excellent. And now, the 19 stack can keep moving on south. The 17 stack can keep on moving this way. Look at that. We're, we're in range to actually hit Setretha. Which looks great. Look at that. They got a little mill going on. Actually. Yeah, see? You can see. I'm, I'm glad that this is back. It makes, uh, it's the little things, honestly. It's the little things. Anyway, so that's that. We're all set up. We're set up over here. Two more turns. In fact, we might actually be able to upgrade some of our key armies, uh, units. At least that one army's key units. Let's get the cavalry upgraded. Because the 17, it'll take probably two turns before they're within range of Everwitch. But I, I really feel like Northumbra should have declared war on me, or responded by recruiting an army at Setretha or something. Oh, no. Now we can't do it anymore. That's probably my favorite faction name, for obvious reasons. Um, okay, things slow down a little bit. Let's take the road. Yeah, we're gonna devastate these poor souls. I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad. If they weren't invaders, I'd maybe feel bad. Okay, see? Like, we're gonna be ready to go. Ready to go next turn. Setretha, Ephrawich is probably a turn away, maybe two. That might be the only thing delaying us. 
but otherwise we're just gonna carpet bomb them basically get some more money just so that I have some offset to upgrade all my units because next turn the research should complete and then we'll be uh, ready to roll yeah they have they're not at war with anybody Hayden has been destroyed. Poor Harvest. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I have... Oh, that's actually a problem. Damn. <laughs> uh, four turns. That's fine, that's fine. It's not going to be the end of the world. Okay, this reduces the recruitment cost, but increases the upkeep cost of cavalry. We've taken that pretty far. Maybe we go back to um, spears or start unlocking some higher tier axemen and swordsmen. Let's do that. Let's go with defensive tactics. Or maybe we get that water mill finally. Yeah, it does unlock quite a bit. So let's go with the mill. Actually, let's do something civic for once. Right? We've done such great military... We've had such great military progress. Maybe we, uh, you know, work on other aspects as well. Alright, so upgraded these units. Upgrade our archers as well because we can... And, uh, yeah, let's upgrade all these. What's the difference? The armor is a little also a little bit better. Morale is better. Charge bonus and melee skill. And they have the uh, raider trait as well. Cool. Worth it. So that is all the upgrading I can do. Everything else is out of home territory. Let's see what the situation is down south over here. I think, oh, they don't need another turn. So is this it? Are we starting Are we starting the war? Where are the messengers? Messengers of war. Time to deliver a message. So, Rukester first. It's time for war. Prepare yourself, Northumbra. Holderness is all that's going to join them. Oh, Hilderborg. Why did they go to war? They're like, uh... Oh, uh, okay, I guess they wanted a war of independence. Excellent timing. Kind of. Maybe that's where all their armies are. Ah, well, let's mess them up. Can take you. Your warriors can't do crap, man. Alright. Here it goes. It's so dishonorable to declare war like that. Alright, Girum is next. Occupy that too. That's actually a lot of money we could have taken. Oh, leveled up. Tudric, let's get you, you're a loyal chap, let's get you a quartermaster, make sure you're moving as fast as possible. And now over here, Carloyal, you shall be mine. We're going to get a battering ram, a couple siege towers, another battering ram is not necessary. Another siege tower will take two turns. I don't know if I want to wait that long. We'll maintain the siege battle, I have to wait at least one turn. And then over here, going to hit Setretha. Oh my god. Okay, good enough. Maintain that siege battle. And then over here, we're gonna hit Epperwich. Ooh, this one's a bit more even. We might have to fight this one. Okay, maintain that siege. Like, I want to fight more siege battles than not. Simply because... Simply because I like seeing the siege layouts. They're cool. So I, I actually want to fight them. Right, where do we have the market? Not here. We'll find it eventually. We'll find it eventually. Um, I could increase this for more money. I don't think I need to. I could do this for more supplies. Public order, not really necessary. What's the deal here? Okay, that's still upgrading. Five more turns. Over here, four more turns for this. I could upgrade this. More trade money. Sure. I've got the money. I have the wealth. I should spend it on something. Up here, we could finally upgrade these. Do we have any better... No, it's just these three. Okay, fair enough. That's the first turn of the war. I think I've moved everybody. We took Rukester, we took Girum... We took, or we've besieged Carloyal, Setretha, and Everwich. Northumbra will fall swiftly. Or they will turn around and destroy me. Nope, didn't happen yet. We're good.
Hagastolides is next, and then Dunham, I think. And then Alclit, and then Zetretha. We're good. We're good. We've got this. Yeah, a lot of settlements besieged, I'm aware. Um, taking some attrition with Arthur's champions, which is not ideal. Just because they're low on supplies. They traveled so far. That's actually... I mean, hey, okay, that's... I guess how I'm getting punished. I'm going to lose a couple troops before we actually hit the city. I could go with just the two siege towers. But I would like to go with some more. Let's see the... Let's see the layout of the city. Okay, so... Pretty straightforward, pushing from the trees. Nothing too complicated, but I, I, I would want to mount the walls with all of my axes at the same time. If we get, we've got um, two built, right? So that's two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that means we can take the walls completely. They have no cavalry, so the spears don't need to stay on the ground or anything. All right, maintain siege, put them next turn over here. Setretha can be auto-resolved. Again, it's tempting to actually fight all of these battles, and I would probably fight them if I wasn't um, doing a Let's Play. It's I'm sure it's hardly entertaining to watch me just completely crumple less than a thousand troops with my over two thousand. So we're going to auto-resolve this. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you would like to watch every one of these battles just to maybe see the towns and stuff. But oh, we'll just occupy. We don't need the money that much. Heroism has gone up. Enemies beware. You were getting into your stride with the support of your people and warriors who... Oh, we've already received this one before. Yeah, it's because we spent heroism at the end of the previous session to uh, increase our food income, if I recall correctly. I think this was the yeah cultural benefits, plus 30% farm income from all regions. And Carloyal, can we take this right away as well? Yeah, we don't even need to build these. We can auto-resolve this right now. And fight aggressively. Slaughter them. Kill the foreign invaders. I can give some of them the chance to uh, return to me. I'm not going to liberate them. I'm not going to liberate them. No, no, no. This is mine now. This is mine now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we are. We really need to assign some governors. Let's repair. Ooh, what's this? Oh, excellent. Excellent. So here is where we can finally put this merchant down for that plus 20%. Um, into Cumberland. Done. Loyalty is an issue. That's not so good. Why you hate me? Why do you hate me? Just cause? Alright, well we can check our estates. Surely we've, yeah. Girum has an extra estate, so we could hand that off to Senil as well. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. We're all married, we're all having kids, everyone's happy, everyone's in love, that's all great. This is all good, we could upgrade some stuff, we have a lot of money, don't really feel the need to spend any of it. Uh, Setretha has been taken, Ephra Witch is going to fall next turn, we're actually going to fight that one. Over here we can move to Dunham. Occupy that, no stress. And over here, oh nice, we can hit Hagastaldes right away. Beautiful. Done. Look at that. Look at the beautiful chunk we've taken. Just look at that. It's like a little mouth. There's a little mouth, and that's the, the, where the eyes would be, and we're just eating Northumbra. Okay. I think that's the turn. Building requires repair. Which one? These all require repair. We are causing some serious destruction, and that needs to be converted as well. This we could upgrade to help with the public order situation. It's kind of low here right now, and we have money, so why not? And uh, who's taking... Oh, right. These guys. We'll hit it next turn. We'll hit it next turn. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. But yeah, I feel like uh, Northumbra is about to fall. All clip is the only... Ooh. Take this chance for peace. I'm sorry. I have the upper hand here, bud. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. The, the, other, the other flag is just me. That's just me. No. I should not be surprised at... No peace for you. Oh, crap. There's a 20 stack. All right. I got to take effort, which quick. Lloydus. They're probably going to garrison Lloydus, if I had to guess. I need to bring down my uh, my 19 as quickly as possible. Okay. 
Mission issued on confluence of two rivers and an old Roman road. All clit is well placed in every sense. The farmland nearby is productive and the forests beyond are full of game, including deer and boar. It would be wise to take and hold this settlement, even though it falls under the Dane law. That's the plan. That's the plan. Don't worry about it. Look at that. Just like that. Done. Occupied. No problem. Easy. Easy. Extra money. No problems. Okay, Setretha. We can move down to actually reinforce for this battle. If I wanted to. I don't feel the need to, so I'm not going to. Only because I think it'll be more fun to fight this without the reinforcements. But what I will do is after we take Efferwich, I'm going to move this army down south to Hrippum, I guess. That's how you say that. Uh, just so that when this 20 stack arrives, I think they're going to hit... They're going to not hit, but go to Loitus. And then probably try to push and get Efferwich back. Is my thinking. So you know what, let's actually get this uh, 19 stack into Hrippum. Without sure, there's a better way to say that. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that terribly. Oh, there we go. And then we'll take Efferwich later on this turn. But first, what's the deal here? Car loyal. We could upgrade. We can't upgrade this. That's already at max level. Uh, more food and more supplies. Actually, let's do this. We have so much money. Ooh, and a mill. More fur production, but we're not actually... Are we getting fur from the... No, that's cloth. Dear Lord, there's a lot of market production here as well. Okay, there we go. I still have a fair bit of money, actually. What else could we do? We've got... Uh, any upgrades back at home, perhaps? We could... I can still... Oh, okay, let's get the, the grain si silo. Silo, jeez. Um, and we'll maybe upgrade Guffin later. Got some governors to assign. All right, seafarer, born commander, farmer. That's good. So we've got a farmer now. That's a fair governor I can basically put anywhere. Maybe in North Threading. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, no, no, let's go further up north. Get a governor over here, allow him to gain some, you know, traits and stuff. There's a lot of farmland over here, evidently. Fitting, I think, to have a farmer in the region. So yeah, let's get uh, Sinbran, because we think of Cinnabon, up here in Manad. Okay. We're all settled. His loyalty is not so high. Why you gotta do this to me? I literally just hooked you up. Uh, I don't even have an extra estate. Just Dun Ikain. What's my influence? It's at 10, so I can't afford to get rid of it just to help loyalty across the board. Sinbran, yep. Pain in my butt. There you go. You happy now? Yeah, you are. It's not even close to where his where he's actually governing. I that's like punishment for him. It's like, oh, okay, here's your estate. Good luck actually staying there. Alright, now this army over here can take decor or decor or decor. All the same to me. It is now mine. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Look at that. Just completely destroyed them. And uh, let's hit Efferwich. This should be a fun fight. We've got six siege towers. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting. Let's take this to the battlefield and see what we can do. Alright, let's go with the dry weather. Sounds good to me. And uh, it would have been it would have been quite interesting actually to come in with uh, a naval force as well just to get a beach landing in here and cause these guys trouble from both sides. Also, it was actually asked a couple of uh, episodes ago about wall variants. Here you go. These are not wooden walls, as you can tell. These are stone walls. So there you have it. Wall varieties do exist. They were not just things people were saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's set up. This one should be a pretty simple fight, I think. We've got all of our towers. Uh, we can just move up. So there's one set of gates. There's another set of gates uh, over here. The capture point is right in the middle over here. It's just the one. There are no secondary capture points. So I think, yeah, let's uh, storm them right down the middle. There's a little bit of water there, actually. So that's not ideal. 
and go this way instead. Yeah, we, if we go this way and hop on down, pour out over here onto the streets and uh, push in towards the capture point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We've got you all over here. There's enough wall section for all of these siege towers to hit this spot, I think. Seems like it. Seems like it. We'll find out. And then we've got the uh, Levy Axemen. Actually, you know what? You guys drop your equipment. And you guys drop your equipment. Get on here. And you guys get on... Oh, where's the... Where's the battering ram? Why did I do this to myself? There it is. Okay. Battering ram, get you over here so our cavalry and our warhounds can go through. Or we could put the battering ram off to the side over here and try to be more clever than we need to be. Sure, let's do that. Let's, let's have some fun with this one. Okay, we'll roll on down, hit that gatehouse, and we've got all of our cavalry and our warhounds over here waiting. We are the cavalry. Okay, you're a group one. Let's go back over here. Let's get our Let's go to war. arrows ready. I guess uh, here makes sense. Group them up. Okay, I think we're good to go. These are the only spears that don't have towers or anything. Uh, I could keep them with my cavalry just to assist. They could <laughs> they could be the uh, the anvil for all of those hammers. All right, I think we're ready to roll. That's the way. Be sure to protect your general in combat. His loss would be keenly felt amongst his remaining troops. There we go. Thank you. All right. Get you up there. Get you up the there. Tremble before our superior numbers. Of course they tremble before our superior numbers. Ah, okay. Yeah, misplaced that a little bit. That's okay. Are we able to fire away? We are able to fire away. You're facing the wrong way. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to see what our archers look like, because these guys are new. They're the upgraded archers. Oh, look at these guys drop. Oh, look at that poor soul die. Not even close, these guys are dropping dead. I love... I love when they die um, as they're running. Those are some of my favorite animations. Oh, this guy got shot right in the neck. Oh my god. Why are you even trying? You should just surrender. These shields are protecting them, obviously, but at least we're reducing their morale, and we've got our towers rolling on up. This must be terrifying. Imagine being in this position. Imagine being right here. Seeing that coming towards you. Arrows flying down. Your friends dying to your side. Here come the towers. Come on, men. Come on. For whales. So good. All right, the walls will be ours soon enough. And how are we doing up there? Oh, we could fire away at this instead. What's happening over here? Did we, uh... Did we not even get there? They did not destroy... Oh, they just surrendered. Oh, that's actually tough. We're gonna lose this unit. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, alright. Come on. To the ram. Okay, we're coming out on top over here. This is not going to be an issue. Still pouring out. Let's fire away into these spearmen if we can. We have the angle. I imagine we will. Oh, look at that. Look at those arrows coming in.
my men cheering on the walls. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Give up. Surrender. There's no point. I was hoping to see another volley. Alright, well, we've got the walls taken. We could roll on down. How are we doing over here? Come on, men. We're relying on you. We're counting on you. There we go. Go, 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 go. Go. I didn't expect them to actually protect both sides. Alright, that gate's gonna be ours. Oh, you know what? I could actually... I wonder how long it'll take me to get there. What the fastest path actually is. Pour on out. This gatehouse will fall soon. 60%. Come on. There it is. In we go. Right. Good over there, those guys are running on over. We're down here. Send some of you to form up over here. Some of you to form up over here. Alright. And in we go. Through the gap, hopefully. I need to not die over here by being foolish. They have spears. Come on, come on, pull through, pull through. There we go, there we go. Easy, it's easy, easy. Our warriors flee the battle. How dare they. It's because they're being shot at by the uh, the towers, I think. These towers are being destroyed as they're going through. I wish I caught one of the animations. Are these guys going to be able to destroy this tower before they get through? Hopefully. Oh, our men are giving up. I need to help. Nah, they're not going to destroy that in time. Our men have rallied. Come on, destroy them. You know, uh, yeah, the more I see them, the more satisfied I feel with the charges. They could be a little bit stronger. Ooh, they put up some barriers over there. Pull down here, pull down here. There's spears. Come on, get away, get away, get away, get away. Alright, in come the dogs. guys away. We're fine over here. Away from the spears. They've actually got the barricades up there as well as the thing. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Lost some good cavalry there, damn. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that uh, side move. Alright, we're uh, about ready to charge in and destroy what's left of their command. We've got this. These guys will not last very long. As a rear charge, we'll finish them right off. Make sure you're safe, get you back over here. The hounds are taking the gates. An entire unit has perished. Yeah, we lost more men than we had to. Alright, alright. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Come on, men. Charge. Oh, look at that. Before the charge even meets, they give up on the fight. That's that. I'm gonna capture the pimp point. It's like a mosh pit up in here. People are probably getting trampled more than they're getting stabbed. It's poor souls. Alright, and then off in the distance, some of these units are forming up again. It's okay. Get our archers up here. Let's go to war. 
We'll be here soon enough. We'll be able to fire away. They're actually out of ammunition. Let's pull these axes back here. Alright. Keep that point. Form you up over here. Form you up right behind. These guys will come around behind for a nice rear charge. Or maybe intercept these archers. We're almost able to fire at the archers. In fact, wow, look at that range. Once we get through, we'll, we'll gun them down. If we get through quickly enough. Maybe I should just take the, the towers. Okay, fire away. <laughs> like I said, I love watching them drop as they run. Okay, they've given up. Let's fire on these guys over here. Our men run from the enemy. This is shameful. Hold your fire. Let's not get any friendly fire in here. Nice rear charge in here. Should do the trick. Oh, these guys are giving up. There's the victory. This whole building's like burnt down completely. Parts of the city are just up in flames. Alright. That's that. Close victory, I'm guessing? Yeah. Yeah. Spent too much time focusing on some shots. We lost a couple spears, we lost our cavalry, some hounds, and a unit of Axemen. Not the end of the world. 189 kills on these guys. The archers did okay. They didn't have too much to shoot at, unfortunately. We lost 700 men or so. Well, closer to 800. For a good, for a good cause. For a good cause. For those cinematic shots. Wow, that's a lot of money to turn down. We're going to sack and yes. occupy. And it was pointed out previously that uh, it might not work out financially every time because of the damage done. Wonder if that's the case. Uh, it might be the case again. Yeah. Yeah, it's more expensive to sack and occupy. Oh well. Lesson learned. So over here, Aranut, we could upgrade you. We could get you a Quartermaster so you're moving faster. Or we could go with uh, Forager to increase the replenishment rate, given the situation we're in right now. Quartermaster also improves supplies down the line. So let's go with Quartermaster instead. That's good for me. And then over here, Ekade has leveled up. We could go with Quartermaster just for that supply buff. For when we're rolling on down south. That is God's plan. Every man will do his duty. Alright, so these guys can only make it to Lloydus next turn. We'll be able to push it. Yeah, this army took more of a beating than it really needed to, but uh, we'll be okay. I almost feel like I should cancel a construction somewhere. Or cancel some of these repairs. Just for the purpose of recruiting more units. So we could get in this army. We lost two units of spears. We don't have any royal spearmen available. So we could get two units of spears. We lost two units of cavalry. We can only afford the one. And we lost some hounds. Hounds are really not. I guess if I'm chasing after archers or something, it makes sense. But let's see. We've got a decent front line. Oh, we need some more axes. Let's do that. And let's also stop the repair of the trade jetties, yeah. And then over here we can recruit uh, two Welsh armored axemen. Replacing a hound and an axe unit. There you go. I'll take a couple turns for them to recuperate. That's okay though, not the end of the world. We've got some rebellion risks coming up. And negative six shouldn't be the end of the world. And Cumberland, negative three, negative five. What we can do is we can reduce our tax rates. There you go. There you go. If I do this, we've got a negative two, negative one, negative seven, but everything else is fine. And we're still making more than enough money to sustain ourselves. So that's okay. We'll take that tax hit for a little while. Uh, do we have any interesting governors to assign? 
Not particularly. We are Arthur's All right. True of heart. Okay, so these guys are going to move south next turn. I think we are done for the turn. Arthur's champions, unfortunately, still suffering from some attrition. They'll be fine. A few lost men. Ooh. It's another 20 stack I just saw. Question is, do I want them to besiege... Ah, oh, damaged buildings, damn it. Do I want them to put Ephrawich under siege and then hit them? We will serve you well. Yeah, these units are pretty badly hurt. Like, I could fall back to, uh, let's say, Hesslerton. Where was that other 20? There it is, at Drayton. So they might actually be taking the water up and into Ephrawich. That would be deadly. 220 stacks? We will do you that would be deadly. What I could do, as I was saying, was I could fall back to, say, uh, trying to pick a ideal settlement. Sure, let's hit, uh, is that Poclintum? Yeah. If we take Poclintum, it's right here. These guys can reach Ephrawich, and then they'll have to put it under siege. Garrison is really badly hurt as well. Yeesh. But at least these guys will be able to recuperate up back in Poclintum. And then I can move in with both armies next turn. They won't get stuck in, so let's do that. Let's pop on back. What you get for being friends with the wrong people. Here we go, we're good, we're good, we're good. We should research, um... I guess now we can research defensive tactics. Yeah, let's go with the defensive tactics. Okay, I should have been a bit more careful. Maybe fewer cinematic shots in the next, uh, siege battle. <laughs> okay, we're good over there. Okay. This army can head right down south. Every man will do his duty. This can... Uh, I'm wondering if I should take the water myself. Go by sea and hit, you know, Beferlick or... Even go down and hit, you know, Drayton, Lude. There's options, there's options. Let's, uh, let's head towards the sea. What's the fastest path? Giram? Alright. Well, there's the road it's there. The and we've got this army as well, rolling on south. Excellent. Got a fair sum of cash still. I might want to save it for the purpose of recruitment, actually. Some more swords in this army, perhaps. Another cavalry unit. Okay. They're going to be weak, but... It'll give me numbers on the field. We're not going to repair anything else in case things go sideways over here. And uh, where else do we need some repairs? Up in here. There. It's home. Home gets repairs. All right, that's the turn. Now is when I guess the challenge comes. I've got the 220 stacks very close to me. And it didn't roll up to Ephrawich. What happened down there? Is that the same army? Did they just get into a battle that they lost horribly? The questions are endless. Did they just liberate uh, Ulaid as opposed to conquer? Ooh, political gain, leveling. This man hungry for power is trying to get the uh, Justicar office. No, no. Oh no, the Welsh Rebellion. One of the Welsh vassals under the yoke of the Anglo-Saxons has broken free. They have declared independence and raised swords against their former liege lord. This new conflict could greatly destabilize the reason. Reason. The, re the region, even. Yeah. That's right. Raise up. Okay, let's fix our... Uh, well, rather, let's get Denawal here. It's a governor. Even more money. Zeal, perhaps, to help public order. Where are you? Here? There's no problems here. People are happy here. The people are happy here. What could you possibly have... 
to do. I mean, they'll need public. Uh, sure, might as well take advantage of the financial situation. Let's get a uh, higher tier scribe or another scribe. Wonder which way, how, like how it's supposed to work, what it's supposed to be. All right, that twenty stack just will not decided to leave, eh? Strange. Okay, let's roll you down. We need to be careful with the messengers of war, though, because if a enemy fleet comes rolling on up, we want to make sure that we're able to react. Uh, let's let Arthur's champions here continue recuperating. We could take Befrelik. There's no reason we can't. Occupy that. Keep replenishing, of course. Okay. We're okay over here. These guys... I could put the 19 into Ephrawich. And the 5 into Hrippum, just so they're close. That's not a bad idea, I don't think. Okay, there we go. Let's put the 5... I love that it's like, it's not so cold down here, so I don't have to worry about attrition as much, except for like in these marshlands and stuff. Uh, the 5 could come down here as well, actually. So, let's stay close. And let's see if we can't see what's going on over here. Oh, English rebels popped up and took Duncaster. I believe that belonged to uh, Northumbria until moments ago. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, we can push in and take Cherchebi. Cher Cherchebi? Cherchebi? Whoa. A true king leads from the front by his deeds and noble example. By your hand, the people are united, joined at last in common cause. The annals of history will talk of your deeds in reverence of this great feat. All hail. Well, hey, <laughs> there's a short kingdom victory. Uh, I mean, I guess we could call the campaign there, but uh, we're not going to. I mean, let me know if you guys are happy with that being the end, or if we continue the campaign. It's, it's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's that. We could continue the campaign instead and, okay, short victory kingdom, your faction bonuses have been upgraded. Your faction is now called Ir Hen Ogled. We have finally united our people together into a kingdom that will last for all eternity. We will be remembered as one of the greatest kingdoms ever to have existed, with a legacy rivaling that of all who came before us. Alright, cool. I, I mean, that that's one option. Or the other option is to go for the Long Kingdom victory, which has us taking Gwyneth, Gwyneth, Poes, Se oh dear, I'm not even gonna... Um, Sarah Degain? <laughs> Do it... Morkenhook and Sernu. If you want to see me butcher these people and the pronunciations, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Alternatively, if you'd rather see a different faction let's play, let me know in the comments down below as well. It's basically just conquer, like, modern-day Wales. That's the next step. I do want to finish this war against Northumbria, of course. Serve you well. Of course. Right. Okay, we're good here. Everything's done, everything's in position. We're waiting for these guys to recuperate a little bit. This army hasn't moved. No, they have moved, okay. Just keeping a track of what's going on. And what's the deal here? We could upgrade this, get some more farming going. You know what, let's get, uh, let's upgrade the mine. This public order is great here, might as well take advantage of that fact. And that's everything we have the money for right now. And that's the short, Campaign victory. The kingdom. The short kingdom victory. Oh, there's the 20 stack. Oh, very clever. Now you've got 29, and I have less than 29. Very smart, man. Very smart. It's time to discuss coming together as friends. Um... I mean, we could. They are... Not necessarily the worst. They're on a different island. I could get along with them. Sure, I'll accept this declaration of friendship. 
I'm happy with how that worked out. I'm happy with how that worked out too. Now join me in my war. In the destruction of Northumbria. Ooh, more rebellions going on. No! Oh, infuriated with your blocking move, this person is now working against you. Trait gained, vengeful. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I've got a lot of governors to assign and stuff, but uh, none of these guys make for ideal governors. Okay. What the hell is that? What, what is your problem, man? What is your problem? Vengeful. At some stage, you've wronged this man. Now he works against you. Why would he do that? Why, why would you put me in this position where I might want to kill you? I feel like... I feel like he's asking for it. Don't you think he's asking for it? I think he's asking for it. You're gonna work against me? I'm gonna work against you. Red-handed. The assassin was caught, but not before the act was done. As you might expect, fingers have been pointed. I can't intervene because I don't have the money. So I have to leave it be, and I think I'll lose some influence. For 10 turns, I will go down to 8 influence. It's fine. Leave it be. This is what happens when you speak up against me. He was but 38 years old. Nobody wants to be a governor anymore. It's actually because I don't have the money for it, but it's funny to think. Okay. Um, so I can pull my 19 up now. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Not possible. We can get the 19 you up with the 5, will be and then we can get this 19 up into Efferwich, and that way we'll have a massive sort of collection of, of armies here, and they can move in, destroy this 20 stack, and take Loitus. This army, meanwhile, will keep rolling on down south. I'll skip Hesslerton for now, though they could raise an army there and just kind of take a bunch of stuff over here. We'll leave that be for now. We'll roll on down south and cause them some trouble... Maybe at, like, Lude or Lin... Lin... Oh, dear. This city. Um, and it's kind of funny that this rebellion kind of came up, and it's a four-stack, and it just took Drayton, because it was completely ungarrison. All right, these guys just took Church of B. I could move down to L Lancaster. Lancaster. Keep our campaigning on this side separate from our campaigning on that side. Force the enemy to split into two. Doesn't sound like a terrible idea to me. Roll on down south. Okay, so that'll happen next turn. This is on its way. We've got our 19 or 5. And our other 19 that still needs to recuperate. Yeah, and we should be able to take this 20 on. What have they got? I can't see everything, unfortunately. This is where I wish I had, like, spies or something. It's a 0-star general. I got a 4-star run. My king himself on the battlefield. I should be able to take them on. What's else? Okay, let's actually repair this. I can't. I don't have the money for it. And do we have better governors available? No. No, 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 no. Of course not. You know what? Maybe I should uh, take a look at some of these offices that people might be interested in. You. You're a governor. Would you like an office? One estate. He's 31. He, he might deserve one. Uh, he can be... His governance is too... Sure. Let's, let's, we'll make him the, the Chamberlain. No, let's do it that to Senel, just because it increases the uh, influence as well. And his is lower, so I don't want it to even come, clo come close to competing with mine. So you're the Chamberlain. There we go. Boom. And Sinbran. Sinabun. My buddy. You can be... Justicar. Actually, they all increase influence. Doesn't really make a difference. But you can be the Justicar. Plus two zeal will be nice. And, uh... Who, who has performed well on the battlefield? Tudric. Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. That's obviously me. Spirit of Ambrosius. We've got... Uh, who's in charge here? Anna Root. Pascan, I mean, he's he's done well. 
But uh, these guys, Arthur's champions, Anarut took Efferwitch. And that was a pretty ballsy move. So you know what? We're going to... Uh, I'm going to give him a little boost. going to make him the king's captain. Oh, a character... No, sorry. T take that back. You're not going to be the king's captain. Tough luck, buddy. Anyway. So we've got a bit of a situation down here, but I'm sure we can handle it. I'm sure it won't be a problem. But uh, we also have the fact that we've completed a short kingdom victory, but we're going for the long kingdom victory. And then the ultimate victory, the mysterious ultimate victory, that only triggers after the long kingdom victory is done. I will, however, call it a session right now. We've hit that hour mark-ish. So I'm going to call it a session right now. As always, if you guys had a good time, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know you're enjoying it. Not only does that help me make judgment calls, but it does help the channel out as well with just how the YouTube algorithm works. As always, thank you very much for watching. It is a tremendous pleasure. And until next time, cheers.